As the war in Ukraine rages on, there are now new concerns about international shortages of semiconductor chips. That's because two of the world's suppliers of an essential raw material, neon gas, are based in Ukraine and have now suspended operations. Although Taiwanese chip makers are prepared and have reserved supplies for the short term, experts say that if the war drags on, chip shortages will be exacerbated, affecting the availability of various electronic products. Russia's brutal invasion of Ukraine has not only disrupted food and energy supplies, but there are now reports that two major Ukrainian neon gas producers have suspended operations, which is likely to further exacerbate a shortage of semiconductor chips. Neon gas, uh, it, uh, it being Ukraine, is one of the largest exporters of neon gas, about 50 percent of the world's supply. This is a concern for the entire globe, as neon gas is a key raw material used in the chip manufacturing process. These two Ukrainian plants together supply 45 to 50 per cent of neon gas that's used in global chip production. Last year, global consumption of neon gas used in chip production reached as high as 540 metric tonnes. Even though Taiwanese chip companies have made advanced preparations and have reserved stock so that short-term supply chains are secure, and in addition, upstream gas manufacturers have many resources at their disposal to make necessary adjustments, the entire industry is concerned that if war in Ukraine drags on, it will ultimately affect chip production. The price of neon gas may increase by as much as 20 or 30 fold. Although neon gas is involved in chip manufacturing, the proportion of its costs is relatively low. But if its price shoots up by 20 or 30 fold, it will affect contract chip makers' gross profit margins, shaving off at the very least three percentage points or more. There's already a global shortage of semiconductor chips as a result of the pandemic, which has dealt a blow to the automotive industry. Now the Russo-Ukrainian war has made chips even scarcer. The Japanese auto giant Toyota has even announced that production will be reduced by as much as 20 per cent from April through to June, owing to supply chain shortages and other major manufacturers are also seeing delays in deliveries. There are worries that a ripple effect is already happening.